Hi guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How are you guys? A little bit tired, but happy. Tired but happy. Okay, that's good. That's a good combination. <laughs> then you know why it's a good combination because that means that you did something great you did something productive during the day right okay good good what tell me why are you so happy uh, because um i don't know how to say this but we desembolsamos créditos What does that mean? Uh, when, when the customer signed the mortgage. Oh, okay. So kind of like um, you you approved you approved the credit? No. No, I don't approve them. But I I do the paperwork. Let's say. Okay. You're looking for, right? <laughs> Sorry? She looking for the credits. <laughs> oh, okay. You're, you're looking for people that want credit. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, okay. So you are, you are in the part of the, of the, of the. <laughs> Sorry? You are, you're with the credit cards or with loans? Or both credit cards and loans, both and mortgages, because we got mortgages and personal instrument loans, credit cards. Mm, okay. All right. So if you so if you want a credit teacher, she is the person. <laughs> you can call me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, that's good to know. That is very good to know. Yes. But you, but there are certain things. Well, we'll, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> She's interested. Yeah. Keep an eye on her. Yeah. All right. So tell how me. Many, how many percent of the for the interest you of you offer? Depends on the income. Oh. And on the risk. And for to be a friends. <laughs> <laughs> the highest risk she will have. <laughs> that is yes yeah, considered the highest one. <laughs> oh man that's hilarious okay um just give me uh, well um so uh how was your weekend tell me how was the weekend for me, it was great because I could rest. You could rest? Yes. Okay, that's nice. That's very, very nice. Okay. Me uh, too. I could sleep. You could mm -hmm. sleep? Yes, I slept. Uh, my nap, I took a nap Saturday afternoon. Ah, that was glorious. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, what's really funny, I find personally, that, um, you know, the day that I have to be able to rest mm -hmm. and, and get up late, um, I always wake up at the same time. And oh, I know. Annoying. It's really, really annoying. Mm. Uh, you know, that Don't you take a nap in that day, your rest day? Um, well, I try, but it's not the same. Mm. Same, I find. So I, I would like to sleep in late, but I can't. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So I, I, for some reason, it's really, really funny because um, I've, I've tried it. And, you know, I haven't done it on purpose, but I've tried. Um, and, and, and even it, it, if I, whether I put the alarm clock or I don't put the alarm clock, I always wake up at the same time. My God. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what time I go to bed. <gasps> I wake up at the same time. It's really funny. It's fine. What time you wake up? I'm sorry, 6 a.m. or 5 a.m.? 
No, 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 not that early. Um, it, yeah, around six. I usually wake up around six, six thirty. Mm, okay, good time. It's a good time. But on Sunday, mm -mm. <laughs> no. yeah, exactly. Sunday, I wanted to sleep later. Mm. No, couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, well, welcome to today's class. I'm glad to see you guys again. Um, and uh, well, I, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. You were able to rest and um, uh, just, uh, you know, have a little bit of time for yourself. Recharge those batteries that you're going to need it for this week, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are going to start by um, doing the attendance. We're going to take our attendance. So just give me a second here. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to change my background because I'm noticing that I'm here. So it's fighting with your blouse color, right? Exactly. So we can get <laughs> it. And hopefully. Oh, that one looks better. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So here we go. Yeah, I think it won't it won't compete so much now. Okay. So um okay, so we have Anna Claudia. Present teacher. All right, good. Welcome. And um, Andres. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Andres. Thanks. And Claudia. Present teacher. Right. Okay. Welcome, Claudia. Edgar. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Edgar. Urban. Present teacher. All right. Hello. Okay, and Heidi? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Irene? Present teacher. Welcome, Irene. Ivan? Ivan? No, Ivan? Okay. All right. Uh, Jose Montes? Jose Montes? No? Okay. Uh, what about Jose Ayala? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Jose. And do we have Josue? No, no Josue? Okay, what about Jerry? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Jerry. Thank you. Um, Luis, do we have Luis? Present teacher. Good, welcome. Juan Francisco? All right, welcome, Juan Francisco. Natalia. Natalia? No, Natalia. Okay. All right, Ronald. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Ronald. And uh, Wendy. Wendy? No, no, Wendy. Okay. And Werner. Werner? Okay. What about uh, Yvonne? Present. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So everybody's here, right? So let me just make sure that I have not missed anybody. I didn't hear Ivan, Jose Montes, Jose, Natalia, Wendy. Warner, and that's it. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, guys, well, welcome to the stage. Yvonne, did I, did I call your name? I'm not sure. Yes, teacher. So um, we are going to uh, begin, first of all, um, with our 
um, the PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yes, I can. Okay, good. All right, just let's wait till it works. Okay, there we go. So this is a vocabulary practice. You're present. Good evening, Warner. This is the vocabulary practice. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I just noticed my my my. I I I I don't know what to do. My 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 T-shirt is is disappearing. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, that's life. Okay, so anyways, um, this uh, vocabulary practice, um, your, your facilitator is Jessica Herrero, and it's intermediate too, and it's class number eight. Okay, so let's begin. Um, all right, so this is what we studied on Friday, and we also saw it on Wednesday, on Thursday as well. And I just want to make sure that everybody understands it. And we're going to check that you do understand it. So um, let's begin, first of all, with um, talking, making sure that you all understand what a complex subject is, right? Remember, complex subjects are those subjects that have more than one word. So normally, a subject is very simple. We say, um, yeah, we say, for example, he, uh, Maria, my parents, um, our class, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's how we normally, uh, the subjects that we make. But sometimes we have subjects that are a little more complex. Um, that means that we have more than one word. And the reason why we have more than one word is because the other words help to to be more specific, they to help us be more specific in in terms of what um, um, what are we talking about? Okay, so in this case, for example, in letter A, we've mentioned that normally we would just say the decisions, right? But in this case, because we want to be more specific, we say the first of the decisions. So that helps us to be a little more uh specific and then and over here we have good things normally we would just say we would simply say good things right um but it, but we want to be more specific what kind of good things and it's so that's why we say the um, good things i like about working with you all right okay so um that it makes it more specific, but we even make it even more specific by saying the quantity, right? Um, so we say one of the good things I like about working with, okay, with um, you all. So that makes it more specific. In terms of this one, normally um, we would just say dif difficult decisions. Okay, difficult decisions, right? But because we want to be more specific, we don't just simply say difficult decisions. We say diff difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material, okay? And then we even make it even more specific by giving a quantity. And the quantity in this case is some. Okay. And then over here, we have um, the uh, product developers, it would be normally what we would say, but because we want to be more specific, we give a quantity. How many, how many of the product developers? It's a majority of, okay? So that would be the complex uh, subjects. And then what we do is simply we have to, um, we have to look at the, um, the quantifier to tell us if it's a quantifier is singular or plural. In this case, because it's the first, then it's singular. And so that, that's the reason why uh, the verb also has to be singular. Okay, so the verb is has, 
because the quantifier is singular. The same thing happens uh, with the second one. The quantifier is one, it's singular. And that is why with the, with the, um, the verb, it's also singular, is, okay? And over here, um, over here it's different because the quantifier is plural, some, and that's why the verb is going to be plural. We have are. And then we have the exception over here, whenever you have the word a majority or a number, when it's like, basically it's like a, used for like as a collective noun, then we would have, um, in, instead of going with the word a majority, which is, is going to be singular, okay? Uh, what we do is we actually don't pay attention to the, to the singular um, quantifier, but we actually pay attention to the, the, the plural form. Oh, sorry, the verb, sorry, the, the verb form of the noun. In this case, because the verb form is plural, then our uh, verb has to be also in plural, okay? So that's just a quick review about what we, we've seen on Friday, sorry, on Thursday and Friday. Any questions at this point? Or is it pretty clear for everybody? Yeah, pretty clear? It's okay, teacher. Okay, good. All right, wonderful. The reason why I wanna make sure that you guys understand this is because we're going to put, do exercises to make sure that you do. So first thing what we're gonna do is um, we're going to be, um, We're going to be doing these exercises. And so for this, I'm going to ask you guys to take a picture or better set a screenshot because these are not in your book. So go ahead and take a screenshot. Okay, everybody has taken the screenshot? No, wait, please. Wait a second, please. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Anybody else need more time? Mm -hmm. It's okay. <clears throat> All right, perfect. Because right now I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs and discuss the answers. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to get you guys to work like I said in pairs and I'll give you I'm gonna give you mm, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to go over the answers, okay? So let's open the rooms.
Does anyone have? Have. Just say have two halves there. A pencil. Mm hmm I could borrow. I'm I'm sorry, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> I met you in several dimensions at the same time. I went to two other groups. <laughs> Sorry. Es que yo por meterme a este grupo la moví a usted. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, how about the second one, Yuri? Okay, no one has. No one has finished. No one has. No one. No one has finished reading the book yet. Finished. Three. For me, it's ease. Uh huh. <clears throat> Hurry up. Everyone is waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Number four. Doesn't for me. No, my family. My don't or don't. Hey, um, don't if I'm nearby. Nearby. don't because my family is dead. My family don't live near nearby. 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 My family don't. My family. Como es aquí, teacher? My family is talking about they. Think of it in Spanish. Mi familia. When you say, for example, mi familia, what is it? Mi familia son, mi familia es grande. Yes. Doesn't. Doesn't. Mm -hmm. My family doesn't live. Suena, ra suena raro, don't. Uh huh. My family doesn't live nearby. Cinco. Swimming club. Al love, love is for a third person. But in that case, it's talking woman is plural. But love no, 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 plural. No. For me, for me, it's the letter A, but you said letter B. Mm -hmm. I think it's B. Okay. For the number nine. Some of the people waiting in the in the line, in line are getting are you agree, Claudia? Yes, a both of you mouse Hey. Okay, let it rip.
Okay, several of my teeth have. Has. No. I'm talking of oh, my, my, my teeth. Teeth are plural. It's letter B. Twelve most of this software is updated. Are you ready? No. Mm -hmm. Are remember it's do you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree, Claudia? No, I agree with R. No. no, because software is one. You are talking for this software, is singular. Is you, it's different no. that say this software or those softwares. But in this case, it's talking about single. What do you think, teacher? It was. No. B. C. Letter B. Num number 13. Some of the children That's don't have uh, Hi guys. Hi teacher. Hello teacher. How are you guys doing? Hey. Sorry. You will end in the moment. You you're How was the teacher? How was the teacher? Good. Good. I'm pretty oh. How how was your last weekend? How was my weekend? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I I've, I've had better weekends, but it wasn't bad. I can't really complain. That was a pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you was it in your in your home? Yeah, I was. At, I'm. I always spend time at home. <laughs> I don't. Okay. 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 I say one question in, in English. Excuse me. I remember something. We are in the sentence number 11. Okay? Okay. okay. But I remember when you wrote several of my teeth, is you know, it's in plural. I thought it's, thought it's, 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 in, it's in plural, but I thought it's in singular. Right? Sorry. Oh. Give me five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> um, mute. <laughs> Nos quedamos hablando. <laughs> I, I was surprised myself. I don't know what, what I touched because I wasn't even prepared to come back. Okay. Ah. Yeah, okay. Sorry, guys. I don't know why. <laughs> Ah, I saw a chronometer that is as count the time. No, um, yes, you program it five minutes. Yes, no, I no, I pr I gave you ten. It's just that I put that they close automatically. Mm. Okay, come ahead. Hmm, I don't know. That's weird. Okay, uh, I don't know what I touched. Sorry, guys. I have no idea. How much time, how much more time do you need? I think it's a note with finish. 
You got at least five minutes, teacher. You need five minutes. Okay. Everybody needs five minutes. I agree. Five minutes. Agree. Me now, teacher. No. We're finished, teacher. Yes. We're finished. Okay. Okay. Let's compare. Okay. Let, let me let me go like this. Group number one, um, Heidi and Jerry, you finished or not? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Uh, group number two, Andres and Werner, did you finish? No, teacher. We need more time, teacher. We finish. Okay. Um, Irvin and Reese, did you finish? No, teacher. Vamos dos y dos. Okay, Luis, sorry, no, no, sorry. Jose Ayala and Yvonne? We finished. Yes, we finished. Claudia and Edgar? No, we no. didn't finish. Irene and Juan Francisco? We need more time. Okay. So that's the majority of you guys. So, um, Okay, so I'm going to um, open it up for another five minutes, okay? All right, and the other people that are finished, you guys just can go ahead and, and have a conversation, but in English, of course, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. Wendy? Hello, teacher. Ah, no la he asignado. Yes. <laughs> No, the rule. Oh, uh -huh. it, no, uh -huh, because it's plural, both of you. No. Both of you, no. Uh -huh. You go ahead with number 11. Okay, 11. Uh, several of my teeth have ca cavities. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I agree. Okay, number. Okay, Brown. number 12. Most of this software is most of this software is for me is is letter b outdated is mm -hmm. uh-huh we go with the 13. some of the children uh, doesn't have cell phones some of the children mm. I don't know. Teacher, uh, uh, children is the same as family. That is a collective noun. No, it's plural. Ah, okay. So it's plural as well. Okay. Some of the children don't, don't. have don't. cell phones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't. Uh, e uh huh. Okay, in number 14. Uh -huh. uh, almost all of the weather uh, is uncountable. Water is, is uncountable. Is, so is, is, uh, is contaminated. It's is contaminated. Okay. For me, is I agree with all of that. I don't know if you want that we double check. If you want, we can double check. Okay. Number one. One is. Uh, does anyone have? Does. Does uh -huh, does anyone does, have a pencil? Does have. Does have okay. Does have. Number two. Mm -hmm. no, no one. Has 
has for me it's has mm -hmm. then number three hurry up everyone, everyone. everyone is waiting for hurry up everyone is waiting for you to for you to get mm -hmm. here yes okay number four no my family I think oh, that's in Lee or don't leave. No, my family. My family is, is po possessive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's try with the one. Let's leave it in the way that we have. No, my family. We are going to correct them in class, right? Oh, okay. I always have that when using my family, always. <laughs> Think of okay. it like in Spanish. Uh, huh? Think of it like in Spanish. What do you do? For me, it's singular in Spanish, mi familia. Mi familia son o mi familia es grande? Mi familia es grande. Es singular for me. <laughs> Pero como somos mal hablados en español, confundimos todo. <laughs> well, what can I say? <laughs> no. For me, it's, uh, it's uh, as someone say uh, in the class, last class, a collective now. It's collective, correct. But they are considered in singular, right? No. Collective nouns use, they're not considered singular. They're, they use the singular form. Ah, okay. Okay. So let's leave it in that. <laughs> we have the answer right there. Okay. The number five, our swimming clue. Club. Hmm? Our club. Oh, our swimming, our swimming club. Club. I'm sorry. Is you and the you is like. Oh. Are we finished or do you need more time? Yes, we finished. Okay, we already finished. Good. Mm -hmm. I'll see you. Next just... Okay. So our swimming club. Our club. Our club. Our swimming club is. <laughs> okay. Oh all right. So, um, all right, guys. So, I'm I'm guessing everybody's finished, right? Because um, I've given you quite a lot of time to do this. Okay. So let's um, try this. Um, please tell me uh, when you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, we can see. Yeah, you can see it? Yeah, I can see. Okay, good. Okay, so you guys are gonna help me with this. Okay. All right, so um, you, okay, so I'm going to ask you guys to uh, give me the answers. Um, Okay, we'll start with uh, Irene. Can you help me with number one, please? Okay, I within number one, 
is do do have you say number one is do is that right yeah do have yes do have yes okay give me a moment do and do and have give me a second guys i gotta make it smaller oh that's not gonna fit okay all right thank you very much and the uh, sorry, Irene. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, let's go on to um, um, Anna, Anna, Anna Claudia, please. Can you help me? Okay, the second one. Uh, we uh, decide with uh, Edgar to use has. Has. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so no one has finished reading the book yet. Okay. All right. Number three, Ronald, please, can you help me with number three? R. Letter A. R, okay. All right, thank you. Um, Urban, please help me with number four. Number four, don't. Thank you. All right. Um, Warner, please help me with number five, please. Number five, teacher, is um, B, or swimming clubs, is going to complete on Saturday. Compete. I didn't hear the answer. Can you repeat? B is, yeah. Is, okay. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Um, and number six, we'll have um, Edgar. Please help us with number six, Edgar. Number six, um, the, the, the police officer is talking to the parents of the missing child. Okay, thank you. All right, um, number seven, let's have, um, when? Wendy? Wendy, are you there? Wendy? Sorry, teacher. No, 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 Sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. And, um, 
let's go to number eight. Claudia, can you help me with number eight, Claudia? This is B. Love. Loves like that, Claudia, yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, number nine. Let's have Yvonne help us with number nine. Uh, your microphone, Yvonne. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, for me is uh, R. R, okay. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Number 10, we'll have, um, let's see, uh, Heidi, can you help us with number 10? Number 10, no. Both of you, no, the rooms. Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna tell me that no, you can't help me. <laughs> 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 Sounds like like saying no, right? Yeah, exactly. I was like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Jose, help us with number eleven, please. Several of my teeth has cavities. Thank you. Okay, number 12, uh, Juan Francisco. Letter, letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Juan Francisco, so is? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, let's go to number 13. Uh, Jerry. Jerry? Let me see. Don't. Thank you. Okay. And number 14, the last one will have, let's see. Um, Irvin, help us with, uh, with the last one, Irvin. Let's see, let's see, <clears throat> Almost. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, all right. So here we have the answers. What I'm, I, I just wrote down the answers that you guys gave me. Um, so I'm not, um, I'm, I'm not saying that those are the, uh, the correct answers right now. We're going to go back and we're going to check to see if you guys have the correct answers. Okay, so let's start over here. Number one, do anyone have a pencil I could borrow? You agree with this? No, I think it no. does. 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 Yeah, very good. It's the word does. Why? Plural. Because anyone is considered singular. Very good. Mm. Whenever you have, whenever you have words like anyone, uh, no one, no one, someone, is, everyone, everyone is ev everybody, somebody, nobody, anybody, and things like that. Whenever you have words like that, you we use it in the singular form. Mm. Okay. So this should actually say, does everyone have a pencil I could 
Does anyone have a pencil I could borrow? Mm -hmm. All right, does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Next, let's continue. Um, second, okay. Number two, no one has finished reading the book yet. Yes, I agree. It's okay. Very good. And I, I just finished telling you guys that, right? Mm -hmm. that with the no one, no one, someone, anyone, everyone, we like that, we're going to be using the singular form. Mm -hmm. we, consider, okay. we consider it to be a, a third person singular. Okay. Okay, number three now. Hurry up, everyone are waiting for you to get it. To oh. get it. If waiting for you. Okay, all right, good. Once again, mm -hmm. once again, um, we are going to be, um, we're talking about everyone, okay, everyone. So it's a singular form. So that's why we're gonna be, Oh no, so, yeah, everyone. So that's why we're gonna be using the third person singular form, mm -hmm. okay? So in this case, the answer would actually be is, so hurry up, everyone is waiting for you. Um, to, got it? Mm -hmm. Yes. We understand this, is it clear for everybody? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, number six now. The police officer is or are talking to the. And the number four? Oh, sorry, sorry. We keep us okay. Sorry. I'm somewhere else. I'm in. <laughs> number four. No, my family don't live nearby. No, that doesn't. Doesn't. Mm hmm. Just give me a second. Yeah. Okay. So my family doesn't. Why doesn't? Because it's a collective noun. Good. Because my family is a collective noun. So we we collective nouns. We treat them as third person singular. Okay. With the, at least the verbs are in third person singular form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number five, our swimming club is or uh, sorry is going to compete on Saturday. Yes. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. That one is okay. Why? Because the swimming club is like a singular, even though it's a group, but it's swimming club, one swimming club. Good. So it's collective noun. Mm -hmm. It's a collective noun. So yes, uh, many people are in the swimming club, but we treat it as one. So it's good. Mm -hmm. good. Number six, the police officer is talking to the parents of the miss missing child. It's okay. Yes. Okay, because police officer is only one. Mm -hmm. The police haven't released any information about the case? Hasn't. Hasn't. Haven't. Hmm. So it seems like we're divided on this one. <laughs> what do you guys think? Raise your, your virtual hand if you think that it's that this is correct. Raise your virtual hand. So we have one, two, three. Three people, only three people in the class believe that this is correct. Okay, well, I'm actually going to have to join that group and I'm going to say that this is correct. Yes. Wow. Please haven't released any information about the case. Can anybody tell me why? 
I think because the policy is, is as a plural, right? No, it's not plural. It's Maybe it's a passive voice. Nope. But, but, but it's not a third person. <laughs> My God, active voice and passive voice. Wow. Highest topic. Yeah. My goodness. Once I saw it and I was. Bleh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Any idea? No. No? No, the last picture. Okay. Um, well, actually, police saw the sorry, the police, just the word police, different for number, it's different for number six because number six is police officer. But this is pol just the police, right? And police in general. So in this case, sorry? It's como la policía, teacher. It's like, it's like the department. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Use this as a collective noun, okay? Because uh, even though there are many people, um, many people in the police department, right? Like, but um, we consider it just one group, okay? So this is a collective noun. However, this is the collective noun that is the exception to the rule. Okay. So this is the exception to the rule of collective nouns. Most in, in general, collective nouns, we use this. The, the, but in the case of um, police, that's like the, the rule, the, the exception. Does that make sense? Why this? Uh, how Your we can was know? Breaking down. <laughs> how we can know what is an exception in that case? Oh, because like I said, this is the only exception. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are never going to forget. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Um. Yeah. I. I hope you never forget. This is just <laughs> like um. Like the production. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. The police all, production. All the time when I listen to a video, <laughs> he, he listen production. And now production. I, I, I recognize that word. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I remember to clarify. Yes, production. She said we need to exaggerate the, the pronunciation. So. <laughs> oh, hold on. I don't. You see, can I can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. So that my my ah going crazy right now. Just give me a second. You have a virus, teacher. <laughs> All right, yeah, so the police is the exception to the rule, okay? So yes, it's collective now, but that's the exception, okay? All right, okay. so um, let's continue with number eight now. Most women love getting flowers. Love. Love. No. Good. We use love. Who wants to tell me why? Woman is plural. Women is plural, right? Women is, I siempre, women. Yes, make sure you pronounce it correctly. It's not woman, it's women. Women. Women, women is singular, woman. Woman, woman is singular, that's right. In women, plural, okay. That's correct. Woman, women, woman, women. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so yes, well, uh, and here we're definitely talking about most, right? So it's going to be a plural form. Okay, number six, number nine. Some of the people waiting in the line are getting impatient. Is or are? Mm. For me, people is, is plural. Is plural some? For me, is are too. I agree. 
because some uh, we're talking and people is plural, right? So both of them are plural. Mm -hmm. Good. Number 10 now. Uh, both of you know the rules. It's okay. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. I agree. Several of my teeth has cavities. Have. 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 Why? Because there are several. Teeth is plural. Plural. It is a plural. Several, we're talking about more than one, right? Mm -hmm. So yes, it would be have. Several of my teeth have, teeth have cavities. Good, number 12. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So most of the software is outdated. It's okay? Yes, yes because okay. software is uncountable. And you have this, no, these. Okay, good. Teeth, teeth is plural. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, number 12, most of the software is, oh no, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Number 13. Oh, wait a second. All right, number 13. Some of the children don't have cell phones. Mm, that's okay. Yes, it's okay. This is okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Uh, some is plural form mm -hmm. and some is different plural as well. Good. Almost all of the water is contaminated. It's okay. Yes, uh -huh, it's okay. Uncountable. Good. So almost all, it would be like a kind of like a collective kind of uh, quantifier, but the word water is uncountable. So we use a singular form of the verb with uncountable nouns. So that mm -hmm. Okay. So far, so okay. good. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. All right. So out of 14, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine out of 14 which is not bad, but there's always room for improvement. Okay, good. Questions so far? No? Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing because it's time already for us to take our attendance. Uh, please tell me if um, you're here. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Andres? Present teacher. Great. Claudia? Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Edgar? Present teacher. Urban? Present teacher. Great. Um, Heidi? Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Irene? Present teacher. Um, Ivan? Ivan? Okay. Uh, Jose Montes? Okay. Uh, Jose Ayala? Present teacher. Great. Um, Josue? Um, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Uh, great. Jury? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Natalia? Natalia? No. Uh, Ronald. Present teacher. Great. Wendy. Present. All right. And Warner. Present teacher. Great. And uh, Warner. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry. And Yvonne, sorry. Present. 
All right, great. Okay, so that's everybody. Okay, so let's continue now. Um, okay, so we are going to, in this moment, look at different types of tests. Okay, um, different type of um, tests that you can do on a product. Okay, so this is the vocabulary. We have the site and handling tests, use tests, brand test, blind test, monadic test, sequential monadic method, and uh, the paired comparison test. So those are seven of the um, seven um, types of tests that we can do on a product. What we're gonna do is the following. I'm going to assign you one of these um, tests to each group. I'm gonna break you off into, into um, breakout rooms. And I'm gonna assign you one so that you can investigate, find out what it is, and then you're gonna explain it to the class. Got it? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So, um, oops, a second. Just give me a moment. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to um Give me a second. Okay, so um, uh, what I'm going to do right now is um, in the group, you're, you're going to find that um, I'm going to give you the name of your group. Uh, when you join the the breakout room it will say the name of the type of test you're going to be um you're going to be investigating about does that make sense no yes teacher. so you know how normally um you you will normally when you join the group it just says Group number three, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, but this time, instead of saying group number three, it will give you the name of the type of test that you have that you have to investigate about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So just give me a second while I I'm still creating the groups. And you don't have very much time, okay? I'm gonna give you about seven minutes to do this, to figure out what it is and be able to explain it, okay? So it's not gonna be a lot of time, just a little bit of time, okay? So you have to find out what it is and then understand it and then you'll be able to explain it to the class. Okay, I'm almost done. Just bear with me for a moment. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, we're going to open up right now the rooms. Afíjense ahí en el nombre del grupo. to the class 
with other classes. Teacher, the, those definitions are we going to find on the web on on internet? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, you can find it on the internet. Mm -hmm. All those. No, just the one that you have. I'm sorry. Just the one that you have been assigned. Mm, sorry, but I don't I don't understand because I listen. You. You have been assigned one test. What oh, okay, okay. ¿Cuál es el nombre del, del examen que van a que van a investigar? One and sign and handle test, I guess. Sign and handle handling test. The first one. Um, no, it's called. It's called um, paired comparison test. Cuando usted, okay. ustedes se unieron, así decía, ¿verdad? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I can listen. I can see okay. that over there at the, at the title of the, of the windows. Paired okay. I have never read that title before. Title. Title. <laughs> title. Okay, good. So go ahead and um, investigate. On okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hello. Hi. Teacher, we, we are not sure what, what supposed we have to do. Okay. Because you said. What is the name of your group? Brand test. Brand the test. Find out what you have to go on the internet, investigate, and find out what is a branded test. So that you can explain. Mm. Ah, okay. 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 Yes. Yes. All thank right. you. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, we have to investigate. Okay. Hey. Are you finished? Hello, teacher. Sorry. Do you understand no. what we're doing? No, teacher. We was asking about. Okay. What is the name of your group? I didn't see. It's at the top, at the at the top of the screen. Here, ah. Uh huh. Um. What is it? In the group. What is the name of the group? I don't remember, teacher. Ahí arriba está. Yeah. Arriba es de donde es de su pantalla. Dice. dice. Mm. No lo veo, no sé si porque Werner está proyectando. Ya, dejé de compartir eso. No, porque yo lo estoy viendo. Dice arriba, 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 arriba. ¿Dónde dice? Ah, ya, ya. Sign and handling test. Sight and handling test. That is the, the test you have to investigate as a group and go, go to on the internet and then come back and explain it to us. Okay? Ah, okay. 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 All right. All right, I'll go. I'm going to go and help the other groups. Okay, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Estamos yeah. aquí que, que, que supuestamente iba a aparecer el nombre de lo que nos iba a tocar, pero de repente fuimos sustraídas. <laughs> It's right there. Ahí arriba. Mm. ¿A dónde? Arriba, 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 donde dice Zoom meeting. Ay, no, espérame, voy a... Dios. Arriba, arriba, arriba de su, de, de su pantalla. Permítame, oh, vale. voy a quitar. Vale, hagamos una cosa, dejen de compartir. Ajá, eso voy a hacer. No. Stop sharing. Ajá. Vale, on the top part where it says Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting, you said. Ah, ok. Yes, I... Ok. I see in this moment that we didn't okay. know. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's new for us. I know, I know. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why, that's okay. why I'm, I'm visiting every group so that you guys. Okay. Yes, we didn't know that. Okay. Let's go on the internet, investigate, and then you can come back and explain okay. to us. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Let's okay. move on. Use this. Use this. Pero te lo voy a copiar. Mm. Finish? No, teacher. Okay, but you understand what you're doing, right? Yes, but we 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 were confused. <laughs> okay, what what are you investigating? Blind blind test. Okay, good, excellent. All right, so continue, continue. Okay, I'm gonna go in and and uh, join the other groups and help them. Okay. Okay. Sign and handle. It they great is there. Hey guys. This, this is a good option when you're. Hello, teacher. Hi. So, do we understand what we're doing? Yes, teacher. Uh, I guess that we have to create a little presentation for the uh, the specific. No, no? sir. Or... Just explain. Just explain. explain. Okay. What 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 is your test? Uh, monadic mo uh, uh -huh. method. Perfect. Okay. I thumbs. I just wanted to make sure that you got it. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go and, and visit the other groups. Okay. Just wondering, what, which test are you investigating about? Sequential monadic method. Perfect. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that you understood. Okay, teacher. Okay. The concepts are presented in a random order. Teacher, are we going to explain what it means or are we going to find a definition and read that definition? No, you're going to explain the definition. Not read it, explain. Okay. 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 All right. It really complicated or that, that issue that 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 test to try to define. <laughs> I know you can do it. Really? Yeah. Do you believe do you believe I love? <laughs> yeah. I, I believe in you. You are a believer. <laughs> Have you ever listened to that song, Believer, from with that group? No, I have no. not. No. No? No. It's a good song. The one I know is, um, oh, I think it's, called, it's with R. Kelly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I remember that you told uh, that you like uh, music or dance or sing a song. Oh, uh, dance, mostly dancing. That is dancing, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, mostly dancing. Yeah. I, I do like, I do like singing, but not so much. I mean, I'm not used to like I, I prefer dancing. I feel more comfortable dancing than mm. good, excellent. Yeah, well, I just uh, yeah, it's I, I think it's part of. I think there are certain things that you're you know you're just naturally like something that you're that you know as as a child you kind of get used to doing. But what but. What kind of music do you like to dance now in this moment, in this epoch of your life? Oh, well, I think I've always loved salsa. But, mm. Yeah, so that's, that's definitely my favorite, salsa. But I, I like to dance all different types of music. Mm -hmm. hey, uh, so a dancer, uh, many people dance salsa dance salsa, salsa dancer and that is a complicated dance it can be it can be yeah yeah but it's it's fun it's very fun mm -hmm. because you must to coordinate with the, the with your partner if you want to dance uh if you want to look very good when you are dancing salsa yeah definitely 
Definitely. Um, Claudia, are you there? Because I, I can't see you. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. I was looking. You, you were just hiding. <laughs> That's why at the first moment I thought that I am alone. <laughs> I was yeah. alone. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I, I was looking in the internet. Are we finished or do you need more time? We, yes, we, we, more we need time. more time because I am trying to understand what is the OJT or test. No problem. Go ahead. I will leave you alone so you can concentrate. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Are you finished? No, teacher. No? Do you need help? Yes, I, I didn't have a found logical uh, meaning because I only found uh, um, meanings about like uh, optometrics test. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't understand that, Luis. Um, I am uh, doing a research in Google, but I can find um, a logical meaning about the, the sign and the handling test because I only found I mean, it's like uh, this test is for the optometrist, optometrists, optometrists. Optometrist. Yes, but it's not also for me in the, in the context we are studying right now. Right, right. So maybe you need to add some more words there. Uh, for yeah, example, sure. put uh, product development, for example. Teacher, teacher. Uh-huh. Can you give me one last one, please? If the, I, 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 I want to know something about this. Let me see a moment, please. Okay. The seven is PD comparison test. The adverb is number one. Also, my use outside and the handle and the pull with another, and I will ask you to indicate which of the two they prefer. This is correct. Yeah. Is could, correct? You repeat, could you repeat that again? The number seven is the first uh, sentences. Most to my use outside. I, I, okay. I need you to look at, at in the internet and I and, and identify it. Okay, the number seven is the first sentence. Okay, but right now we're not looking at that. We're looking at, I need you to go on the internet and try to figure out what, how you're going to explain it to the class according to what you investigate. This is investigation. This is not doing the exercise. This is an investigation. Oh, okay. It's an investigation, okay? You will explain the class that you can find. Mm -hmm. You have to this is, this, Okay, this is the class. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Any other questions, guys? No, teacher. I am reading and looking. Okay. Okay. Hi, guys. How about you? Hi. 
Guys, how are you? Guys? Hello? Okay. What happened? This is only this, this, this is only displaying and investigate only this one. Okay? For example, sign and had a test. If you have a product and you try with the customer, with the trend, with the target, try to use it. And um, use the test and do you have the data about the answer of the test. Branded test is about the, for example, how would you mark in the, with the customer. Blind test is the similar, like a, hay una traducción, se llama pruebas ciegas. Eso quiere decir que a veces se hacen las pruebas, pero puede ser como, a ver si funciona. Blind test. Okay. Is it, Try to keep excuse, it. Ah, excuse teacher. I not, I not see you. <laughs> I not see you. Blind test is like uh, without scientific, scientific. But don't don't speak in English just because I'm here. Yes. Always it's, speak in English. <laughs> yeah, excuse this one. It's a uh, like a, no scientists, no scientists test, no scientists test because all the tests are scientists. But blind test is no scientist. I think that this is the answer. So okay. okay. Text is an experiment or examination for oh, yeah, yeah. from a client. Okay. So guys, uh, so girls, um, mm -hmm. don't don't be, don't get it so complicated. Just quick, like in two like two or three sentences, try to explain. Uh huh what it is you know so, so don't be complicated don't complicate uh -huh. okay okay two, three, three test, uh, sentences that's it you don't need okay it. okay yes we got yeah. it mm -hmm. we yeah. got it because now we understand what it is <laughs> okay so you guys mm -hmm. finished all right mm -hmm. yes all right i'll see you in a bit okay All right, so guys, um, you're finished? You're ready? You understand? Yeah? <laughs> don't, don't, make it, don't make it so complicated. Two or three sentences, oh. two or three sentences, you can explain the concept. Okay. Oh. okay. All right, perfect. All right, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay? Okay. okay. Hi guys, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, don't make it complicated in like two or three sentences, you can explain it, what it is, okay? So don't complicate yourself so much. Okay, teacher. All right, perfect. See you in a moment. Teacher, the, the, Thank the, you. Group, the group is, is number four. <gasps> four. I don't know. I really yeah. don't know because you guys don't have numbers anymore. You have, you oh, have okay. so I don't know. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so I'll see you in a moment. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. I already came over, right? Okay. Sorry. I, I hadn't. Sorry. <laughs> I'll see you in a random teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you guys are ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, um, teacher. Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Okay, good. Um, just reminder, don't complicate it. Just um, keep it very simple. Um, so in like two or three sentences, you can explain the concept. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. All right, see you in a moment. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Just a reminder, keep it simple in like two or three sentences. You can easily explain the concept, okay? Okay, teacher. You don't have to make a long sentence, just, or a long explanation, just two or three sentences should be enough. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Okay, see you in a moment. Hello, are we ready? No, teacher, we need more time. Okay, um, unfortunately, I can't give you more time because 
uh, everybody else is already finished. Um, so we, and you know, time is catching up to us. So um, what I'm gonna tell you is simply, you, you have a, you, you already found a definition, right? Yes. Okay, don't complicate it. Just take the most important two or three um, ideas from and explain it in two or three sentences. Okay? Okay. All right, so don't complicate it. Two or three sentences, okay. and that should be enough. Okay? All right, so I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're ready. I think everybody is here. So we're gonna start um, with, hold on, give me a moment, with sight and handling test. Okay, so first group is Irvin, Luis, and Warner. Irvin, Reese, and Warner. Okay. You want, I don't know, one of you, I don't know who is going to explain because we don't need, you don't need everybody to explain, just one of you. And like I said before, two or three sentences should be enough. What's a sight and handling test? Solo una a la vez, por favor. Uh, okay, teacher. Um, I don't know. Is uh, say in, in my case, it says a uh, potential indicator the the skill on uh, overview of the say the potentials, um, a skill and saving of the candidate in the fields of self. Uh, and the others um, general profits so would allow the candidate position to be just central various teachers. For me, is an uh, opinion, I don't know. Okay. All right, so that's, is that your definition? Yes, teacher. Uh, for uh, not for definitions, you know, for investigation. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we need a definition so that the rest of the class understands what it is. What is a sight and handling test? Irvin Rees Warner? I had a problem with my internet. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Okay. So Louise and Warner, can you give me the definition of a sight and handling test so everybody understands what it is? Yeah, sorry, teacher, but I can't find it. I only found the others in middle, but my I am looking for right now. Okay. Okay. Warner. Oh, this information no no for me no no lo is no lo busqué así, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Right. Does anybody have an idea of what a site and handling test is? Uh, no, teacher. I don't know what it is. 
Okay, what is sight? Where does the word sight come from? See. To see, to watch. To see, okay, good. All right, so sight. So basically a sight test is when you, are, when you have a product in which you have to observe it. Okay, you have to you've got to look at the product, not so much, um, um, yeah, not so much do something with it, but actually watch it and see it. That's so a sight test is basically having a test on the product just by looking and observing it. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Yes or no? So looking at something and, and just by the appearance, being able to test it. Okay? Like, I'll give you an example. Imagine that your the product is, um, um, let's say, a paint for the walls, okay? Okay, so wall paint. So imagine we are going to be testing the product of white of um, wall paint. Then in that case, we can use a site and handling test. Well, and mostly a site test. Site test means that you're going to be observing. Um, so maybe you can say, oh well, yeah, I like this color because um, it it looks very similar. The same color on the wall is the same color that I can see in the um, a, in the in the picture of the of, of the of the paint. Okay, or for example, yeah, I really like this color uh, because I can see that it has that um, that um, glitter effect, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so you are just observing the product, okay? Seeing what it looks like. Does that, does that make sense? Okay. Yes? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. Okay. Um, teacher, it also in in this case, it says uh, the test is designed to measure the pro the potential of the person or the fellow um, on self. Como ese tipo de test es como para potenciar uh, diseñado para medir o potenciar ya sea en la parte visual o exactly. Uh, Yes, when the product is very visual. Visual, oh. Yeah. Okay, so the product is not so much, um, like the product is, is more like, we want to be able to, you know, it's, it's the product is designed for people to, to observe it, to watch it, They're looking at the appearance of it, okay? And on the other side, handling, means touching, okay? So a handling test is very good when you can have something in your hand and kind of feel it. That's a handling test. So one thing is seeing it and being able to test it just from the visual part. And the other one is touching it, handling it, okay? What does it look or what does it feel like? Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, so site, so site and handling test is used uh, with products where you really have to have like hands on, like touching them, seeing them, observing them. Okay, sounds good? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So let's move on to the next one, um, use test. Eh, 
that is with Irene. We've been looking first for the meaning of best, and we found that best means a, a trial, an experiment, and examination. So the use test is like when the consumer state the product to be used. So uh, they also take it as a sample. Um, they use it as in their own home. That is what we found. We found one word here, one word there, and we think the third, uh, the third, um, why? Um, we <laughs> the third explanation in the in the um, workbook is the one that fits for us. The customers use the product. Correct. So yeah, exactly. So use the product, right? So it's not now it's not just about looking, observing and feeling it. Now it's actually we got to put it into practice and see it does it work or doesn't or it doesn't work when I use the product. Okay, mm. to, to give you an example, um, how are if, if it's a cleaning product, how am I going to be able to test it. I can't just do the, I can't test the product just by looking at it. Mm -hmm. And I can't test the product by handling it, right? Because if it's like, let's say it's a, you know, like a bleach, for example, I can't be handling it. I can't be feeling it, the bleach, right? That's not going to help me. What's going to help me is to actually use it and see, ah, does it work? You know, mm -hmm. is the bleach really helping me? Like, is it able to disinfect? Um, is it able to um, change the color of, of something? You know, that's how I'm going to use it. So that's a use test. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes, it should. Yeah? So far, so good? OK. All right. Great. Thank you. Let's move on to the next group. Uh, the next group is a uh, branded test. Well, we ask him to send Google and, and we, we understand that brand test is as a, when, when the customer compare the different, different brands, but the same products as a olive oil, as a, as a orisol and the partner say another name, Bueno, you know, that you use that, <laughs> but I don't know if you got it the idea or we are lost. Uh, Masola, other, uh -huh. other plant uh, I think is uh, the brand test is a uh, uh, market research tool uh, that tell uh, determine Customer uh, preference for one or more alternatives, yeah, um, or different brands or a uh, product. Uh, the companies uh, use this information to improve the uh, their product. Uh, maybe only that. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you did a very good job in um in the explanation. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what it is. So you are comparing same product, different brands. You're just saying which one is better, which brand is better, which one you like. Okay. All right, very good, excellent. Next um is um the monadic method. Okay. Um, the next group and the monadic method is the next one. Oh, when, let me see. Okay. Monadic method is a type of survey 
research that introduced survey respondents to individual consent in insulation. So, mm -hmm. yeah, insulation. So the test is the um, really knows the product and they ask for the other individual. For the people or whatever person that were um, that maybe fill up their survey. And then they get the survey results. Okay. Very good. That's the monadic method. Okay, very good. Um, okay, so basically uh, the monadic test, um, the person is just, um, it, they're they're evaluating um, or they're yeah they're evaluating each product or concept separately so yeah. we're not so different for example from the one that we just talked about where you are comparing different brands here it's re, we're just looking at one product right only one product or only one concept, okay? And we are going to evaluate that individually. We're not going to make, we're not gonna be comparing it to anything else. We're just looking at the actual product itself. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. All right, great. Now let's go for a sequential monadic method. Right, the sequential monadic method is where two or more product or ideas are each evaluated on their own, one after the other. The concepts, the concepts are presented in a random order to avoid order bias. Each concept is followed by the same series of, of questions to determine each of the concepts its depths in sites. Very good. Okay, so basically here, we, um, we're, we are comparing in a way, we are comparing, but we don't know um, what we are, or, but I said, we're, we're comparing the product to, to itself. And then, so we don't, um, we're not comparing it to another product itself. So, so we're looking just at the product we already talked about that, uh, the monadic, right? So we're just looking at one product. And now we finished with that product. Now we're going to go to another, okay? And um, we're gonna evaluate that one separately. Okay, so it's same, same, basically same concept as the monadic method, just that now we don't just evaluate one, we're gonna evaluate two. And those two are not being compared, they're evaluated separately. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, perfect, thank you. And finally, the paired comparison test. It's gonna help. So that's uh, Claudia and Jerry. The pilot comparison tests are used to indicate when we have two or more attributes being tests or to indicate two samples in preferred. Is preferred. Is the our concept. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, the 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 test basically we have two samples to compare the attribute. At attributes someone has and which of the the, the do, those examples has most of the sensory properties of interest for example see we have a b c elements we are going to compare a with b 
A with C, B with B with B with C, and all combination that we are going to do with those those examples that we have. There are a judge that is going to define what is the frequency that what they prefer or those products. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, excellent. So we're 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 comparing um, the products in terms of which one is more this, which one is more that, right? Good. Okay, excellent. So now that we've done that, now that you guys understand that. Or Teacher, mm -hmm. do forget the blind test. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I am blind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go for okay. it. Sorry, go for it. Okay. Um, Okay, the blind test is an experimental qualitative research which tries to check the degree of functionality, satisfaction, and acceptance of the product in its most basic form. The implementation of this test is carried out when a company is sure of the success of a certain merchandise is due to the result it gives without considering the brand name. Good. Does that make sense? No? Yes, it's clear? Yeah? Okay, um, so um, basically here we're not, we're, we, the, the person who is evaluating is not, has no idea what the name of the product is, what the brand name is. They don't know, they have absolutely no idea. Um, so um, they, yeah, they, they, they have no idea, they just evaluate the actual product itself, that's it. Okay, so they don't tell them, oh, you're evaluating the name of uh, the product for the company. They don't, they have no idea. They just say, okay, I like this one, you know, and because, you know, because of this, or I don't like it because of this. All right, good. So what we're going to do now that you understand that, we're going to quickly look at the concepts here and match them. Okay, so side and hand like test, use test, brand the test, blind test, monadic method, um, sequential monadic method, and pair comparison test. Vaya, gracias. Okay, how are you guys doing? 
You ready? Yes, teacher. Anybody need more time? No? Okay, perfect. All right. Well, what we're going to do is we'll check the answers tomorrow. So, the dejamos en capítulo. Okay, so if it just also for you guys to, if you have any doubts, you can go back and um, and check your answers and then we'll, we'll check them tomorrow. Okay, all right, okay. so right now I'm going to take attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Claudia. Present teacher. Seth. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Irvin. Present teacher. Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Josue. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Juan, uh, sorry, Jerry. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Natalia. Ronald. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Uh, Warner. Present teacher. And uh, Yvonne. Present. Great, okay. All right, guys. Um, so um, the person that had their scheduled uh, one-on-one -on -one class is not here. I don't know if there's anybody that would like to stay and um, have their one-on-one -on -one session today. Anybody need um, extra help or would like to clarify something? No? No, by the moment, no. Okay. All right, in that case, guys, that will be all. I will see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to start uh, with um, your, I better said um, to do uh, the the tests, uh, sorry, the, the, no, sorry, the homework, the homework on the platform. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Take care. Bye, Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Hello, Edgar. Edgar?